Hello, hello, and welcome to Taiwan. I am in the elevator in my hostel and I am just about to leave and go out to the streets of Taiwan, as you can hear them right there, and give you my first impressions of Taiwan. Now, I came here from the airport this morning just a few hours ago. I am hungry as can be, so I think the first stop in this initial reaction of Taiwan video is going to be getting some lunch. But before we do that, let's just take a look around. It's raining just a little bit and uh, this is giving me a lot of Thailand vibes, Vietnam vibes, Asian vibes in general. Lots of motorbikes and scooters and uh, yeah, like chaos. The only thing that is similar to the United States is that people drive on the right hand side of the road, which is uh, it's something familiar after being in Japan and other places in Southeast Asia for the past few months. Yeah, I take that back. It's full on raining here. Going back to get an umbrella. is a Taiwanese restaurant right up the street here. I've never had Taiwanese food before, but just from my few minutes of research here on my cell phone, thefactlife.org, 14 facts about Taiwanese culture, it says that Taiwan is a mix of Chinese, Japanese, and Korean cultures. So I'm assuming the food that they have at this Taiwanese restaurant will be some sort of mix of all that. I don't know, we'll see. Let's go check it out. Okay, we made it to the street now. Uh, yeah. Now it's just a matter of finding it. So it looks like they got the street shut down for some sort of like celebration. I don't think I'm going to go into that restaurant. I'll have to find something else. I think there's another Taiwanese restaurant in this area. Well, probably since we're in Taiwan. Uh, but I think it was like two, yeah, two blocks over. Let's go ch check that one out. So actually this is one thing that I noticed right away when I got here. You have these really, really high-end shops like this one back here behind me selling, I guess like furniture or something. And then right next door you have, uh, yeah, I'll say it, a hole in the wall like street food kind of places like these right here so it just goes to show you like the contrast between like the different levels of uh, wealth i guess that they have in taiwan living like right next to each other side by side here in taipei so actually this whole street here is one furniture store after the other side by side some of them are closed but you can see like here furniture over there uh, I'm guessing more furniture here, just to show you up close. That is a furniture store, and so is that. I'm gonna bet this one is. Yep, <laughs> all along here. I'm starting to see a trend here with the Starbucks and the where was it? 7-Eleven. I swear it up oh, right there. 7-Eleven, right around the corner. There's two, one Starbucks, one 7-Eleven back on the other corner, and now there's another set of them right here. Okay, so we definitely got some Taiwanese restaurants here, but they're all in Mandarin Chinese, which is the one of the four official languages of Taiwan. So I'm hoping I can see one with like English menu advertised up front. That would be ideal. If not, I can come back here and eat at one of those places. Wouldn't it be my first time eating abroad in a restaurant where I do not speak a lick of the language. Actually, I do know a couple Mandarin words. Ni hao is hello, and I think shi shi is thank you. Ni hao, you what is it called? Uh, Gambian. Gambian? Okay, uh, one Gambian, please. So that's always a good technique when you're ordering food in a country where you don't speak the language is to look at what other people are eating and kind of like find out what you like and tell the waiter or waitress that that right there looks good. One of those, please. And this is pretty much the entirety of this restaurant. You got like a dozen seats maybe. And then the kitchen is right here. That's the kitchen. And here it is. So for 40 new Thai 
Thailand dollar, no, wait, 40 new Taiwanese dollars, which is what this cost my meal today. Uh, that is like a dollar fifty, actually. Let's look it up. So 40 Taiwan new dollars is a dollar thirty U.S. Goodbye. Goodbye. That will definitely hold me over for a few hours until dinner time. A lot cheaper than it is in Japan. I was in Japan for the last month and a half and I don't think you could find a meal for that cheap anywhere. Same thing goes for the United States. Super expensive, but here seems to be pretty cheap. So the rain is on and off here. Just a little mist right now, but I'm back here on thefactlife.org and it says about Taiwan, uh, specifically I guess Taipei, is that most people live in these like, type of condo high rises. So this is a good example of one right here and right here. Uh, just these, I'd say like, 12 to 15 story condos and you can see even more of them across the street here pretty much yeah everywhere you look you got some high-rise condos and the rain is picking up again uh, you should see the people's faces that look at me I should uh, gonna take a picture I'll show it to you and that's how you crack your phone don't worry it was already cracked selfie time perfect so it's gonna end it there, but I just had to include this last fact here. I don't even, you can't even consider this a fact, but it's just so appropriate right now. So it says here, number five, most Taiwanese don't like the rain. It rains often, however, walking a bit in the rain is a no-no in the culture, even if it's only for a few seconds. This is typically has something to do with, this typically has something to do with pollution and fears of acid rain on their skin. And actually the next one here says Taiwanese girls like to have fair skin and therefore stay away from the sunshine at all costs. Well, we don't have to worry about that one today. Looks like more condos being built here. Oh, and this building. All right, look at this, 7-Eleven right here and directly across the street, another 7-Eleven. All right, so those are my initial thoughts about Taiwan, Taipei, etc. There's 23 million people that live on the island of Taiwan, and it takes roughly on average like eight hours to drive around the whole island, so it's pretty densely populated. I think the next week that'll be here is going to be pretty adventurous, so hello. <laughs> so uh, definitely subscribe and follow along for the journey. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I had a, a blast making it. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one.